welcome to Massachusetts Beer Reviews. This is going to be a Christmas Ale beer review, but I think it still works in the style of, in, in the season of winter beers and winter type warmers. This one is from the Bell's Brewing Company. It is their Bell's Christmas Ale. As you can see there, um, in Massachusetts, I don't believe I've ever seen Bell's beers before. I'm not sure that we get Bell's beers in, even in New England. I had a relative that brought me a six-pack of winter-type beers for Christmas. Thank you. And this came with it. This is, according to their website, the bellsbeer.com. This is 5.5% alcohol by volume. It is, says, the basic inspiration for Bell's Christmas Ale <clears throat> was to create a sessionable holiday beer using locally grown malt, which would stand apart from the array of spiced winter warmers that are typically introduced at this time of the year. Christmas Ale doesn't contain any spices, all of the dry toasted notes and subtle coffee, toffee flavors come from the 100% Michigan grown barley, custom malted by Pre's Malting, while a blend of hops from Michigan and the Pacific Northwest lend earthy herbal aromas. At 5.5 ABV, it stands as a smooth, highly drinkable beer intended to complement the holiday menus and not overpower them. Okay, it's a winter seasonal, and it says it will last six months on the shelf. It's a lot of information. And that's basically what you get on the back of the bottle. I'm not really sure what kind of style this is. I'm basically going into this blindly, except for the Bell's website, using a Guinness glass. So, the Bell's Christmas Ale pours a ridiculously th thick, tan, creamy style color head. It's a little bit of a pop, pop, fizz, fizz. And I don't know if it, you can see it off of the camera here, but it's a definitely a copper ruby, a, co a copper type of a red maroon color. Um, it's a little hazy. It is pretty dark. I can't really see entirely through it. Like I said, the head is that tan cream color. It's just about three fingers of mine in length. And it's pretty rocky and it's pretty substantial there. So it looks very nice. You can already smell it. It's got a big, pretty malt nose to it. And you can definitely smell, it says that they use Northwest hops. It definitely has a, a, a bit of a resinous scent to it. All at the same time with the toasted um, notes of the toffee and some of the grains. But it's actually reminding me and smell of the Sierra Nevada Celebration Ale. Where it has a lot of that toasted richness to it. But it's also got the resin, a little bit of a resiny quality, a little bit of a citrusy hop note. Some orange peels in there, some mangoes, some pineapples in there, grapefruit. And there's also the pine and there's some leather in there. And it's just a rich, sweet, malt, grainy, toasty note with an IPA nose on it. So, cheers, Bell's Christmas Ale, guys. And my assessment so far on the Bell's Christmas Ale is it drinks very similar to me. It's tasting a lot like the Celebration Ale by uh, Sierra Nevada, their winter release for IPA. And 
I think the only thing that's a little bit different is this is not heavy in your face. Here's an IPA, recognize me now, or slapping you around. This this will get a hop head um, what he needs, I think. It's got a lot of a red a red ale quality. It's like I said in the nose, it's very toasted. It's got that grainy toasted note, the toffee, get the caramel sweetness. You do get some of the typical um, spices that you would in, say, fruit breads or any of those kind of gingerbreads. It's slightly gingerbread -y, slightly, but those kind of spices that you that you typically smell and they're typically used in different dishes around the Christmas time, you get them all here, but just like the brewery says, it's not enough to overpower you at all. And the hoppiness to it, just like in the nose, but I think even less in the taste, it does have some of that hop oil, dank, resinous quality to it. It is, like I said, it's got that leathery quality to it. But it's a very dry finishing beer overall, just like an IPA. It is got, again, the tropical fruits. Peach, mango, peach, mango, passion fruit, um, grapefruit, pineapple. It is a little bit piney. And it does have a light biscuity note in the background with a general um, holiday. It's really hard for me to describe that, but it's holiday type spices mixed with toasted greeny. Toffee notes, caramel, sweet molasses, and the IPA type of a quality to it. So again, I think I mentioned it, but it is a very dry finishing beer. And it's on the medium side towards mild in the mouthfeel. It's pretty crisp, clean, and actually it is refreshing. It's only slightly sticky sweet, and it is making me smack my lips and has a little bit of that red wine tannic kind of a chewy quality to it. And overall, it drinks like an IPA meets a red ale meets Sierra Nevada's. Celebration Ale. This beer is the Bill's Christmas Ale. I am going to rate this beer. I'm going to give this a th at least a 3.75 out of 5. I think it's at least it's at least a solid it's at least a solid 85 out of 100. It's a B plus beer. If you really like that the toasted greeny notes and the sweet molasses and toffee that you can sometimes get from from red ales and you really like a more of a hoppier beer without it being too much it, it, it's in and it's out this may be the beer for you to pick up I don't know if it's around but if there's stock and you see it in your area no charge I would pick this boy up immediately Definitely a B plus 85 out of 100, 3.75 out of 5. It's just pretty good, and there is a little bit of lacing there. So, until next time, keep tasting these great beers and others. It shouldn't really matter. It shouldn't, but... To people that are, some people that are viewing this video probably right now or will in the future. To some people, it really does matter to them what kind of a beer you're drinking. Whether it be a Bell's Hop Slam, their Christmas Ale, the C Celebration Ale, uh, 
Stone Beer, West Flatron 12, those kind of people sometimes would like to tell you that if you drink those beers and you also like the taste of Miller High Life or Pabst Blue Ribbon beer, that that somehow makes you an uninformed person about beer and a person that just doesn't get it and shouldn't be drinking that kind of a beer because it's crap beer. Well, I have news for you at the end of this video, which here is... If you like the beer and you can share with other people and they respect your thoughts and opinions on that and more or less to the point, if you like that beer and even if nobody else respects your opinion for that but you like that beer, continue to drink that beer and I will support you 120%. Now, go get you some Bell's. Christmas ale. Again, cheers. We will see you soon.